hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to discuss how we can simplify these questions on the screen all right so we are going to use the laws called De Morgan's laws and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you click on the subscription button and also click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting in case you have any questions feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen all right so let's quickly begin okay so these are the questions here we are going to use the morgans so the first one there um the first one okay part a and part b are just there to to show us um to, to just to lead us uh, into solving question c okay so let's quickly see how we can solve such questions so we have um the first one there which is a so part a here is x complement union y complement so this is what we have and using de morgan's laws whenever you have been given such a question we know that this is equivalent to um, you open brackets and then you are going to write x and y and you simply just change the sign in between there and then the complement will come outside yeah so what you just need to do is to put everything in brackets then you change the sign in between and the complement has to be factored out it has to be uh, put outside this side all right so this is how you simplify that, uh, this kind of a question and we move on to b so b is just the opposite of a so we have b so b is x intersection y complement so this one is just the opposite of a so what you do if you are distributing the complement using the morgan's law you have to uh, change the sign in between so this complement will be on x there and this uh, and this sign here is, is going to change to union and we we'll also distribute the complement to y so this is how you write the questions now using these same two principles let us see how we can simplify part um part c so we have um okay i'm going to demarcate here so let me just demarcate here okay so the question is x intersection y in brackets and then the complement is outside we have intersection uh, x complement union y complement and how do we simplify such a question so this is our c so the first thing that i'll do is to distribute the complement in these uh, brackets yeah so as we can see we don't have any complements outside if we had we would have first started with dealing with what is in the square brackets meaning we distribute this complement to everything that is in the brackets but in this case we don't have so what we just need is um sorry for that okay let me just erase that okay so what we just need to deal with is what is in the brackets there so we have um we have x we, we are distributing the complement so we put the complement on x then the sign in between is going to change and then we have y there we are also distributing the complement to y so this we we'll still put it in brackets because we have a sign immediately after that and then we have x complement union y complement in brackets so remember how we deal with sets so if you have two sets and the two sets if you if for instance okay if you check this part and this part they are the same so if you have two sets okay let me not say two set if you have a set like this then you have set a inside then set a has elements so if we if you have been taught to shed the common elements between this set a and this same set a it means that you are going to get the same a as the answer so in other words i'm trying to say a intersection a is equal to what a same applies to a union a this is also going to give us what a so same applies to these questions this set is the same as this set so this set intersection that set the answer is simply just going to be the same set so this same set is going to be the solution so if you want you can leave it like this 
but if you want you can go further and say the final answer is x intersection y complement that is if you use De Morgan's rules so in other words what I'm trying to say is that instead of working with this part if you decide to start with factorizing the complement here the solution that you are going to get is this one here which is just the same as that all right so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial for more questions make sure that you subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or you are stuck anywhere in mathematics physics or chemistry feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting my name is hamted see you in the next video shalom shalom